It's Feedback Gaming! Welcome back to my playthrough of Argentina, where we're deep in the war with Brazil. We just annexed Peru in a very, very risky campaign, because the, uh, the time to attack Brazil was closing. And then we managed to make a bit of a preparation and push into Brazil. Initially, we were hoping to push through the north, through the jungle, so we could take this uh, northern town, but we've managed to get gridlock. And I don't want to commit too heavily to the north because there's too many jungles, too many rivers, and it'll, the attack will be so slow. Um, I'll be honest with you, it's a bit of a mistake. I am taking quite a lot of attrition from the jungle. But the attack in the south is going incredibly well. Um, we have managed to encircle a lot of their troops here. Um, an initial push as well is doing really well, thanks to our new motorized divisions as well. How are we doing with motorized? Motorized. All right, we're actually starting to produce more motorized now. Great. Okay, so the end goal with this campaign against Brazil is not only to capture all their manpower, factories, which is always great, but the rubber. The sweet, sweet rubber. That is what we need. And then from here, we'll more than likely just attack Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela all, all at the same time. I don't want to risk it right now and start uh, preparing war right now, but I, that will be the plan. It's really tempting to try and get that early. 198 days. Ooh, that is really tempting. Okay, so from here, I think we need to go for... Ah, oh, damn, okay. We need mechanized, but we are going to get that next year. Then we need to get all these upgrades in 1942. 1941's around the corner. Encryption's going to be so useful. There's a few things that I would like. I would, start, I would like to start working on tanks as well. What we'll try and do is we'll get Great War Tank, then get Heavy 1, then get Heavy 2. And then from Heavy 2, we can get the Medium or Heavy 3. That's probably what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to go for Radio. Oh, no, it's not going to give as much of a benefit, that, you know. No, that's a bad that's a mistake. Maybe we should start increasing our Brigades. Reconnaissance is cool. Now, I like the improvement on field hospital. That's going to be cool. We'll do that. I'm not in any hurry to try and push into these areas as well. I want them to drain of their organization. Uh, there's an area to push in here. I'll take it. I think we might be able to take this one here now. Oh, no. Let's push them all back in again. Are they going to put up a fight? Hills, hills, forest, forest. Okay, we can probably push in here. Yes. While we've got them on the retreat, we'll push into them here. Yep, win, win, win. Oh, they're not having supply issues. What? How are they doing that? That's really strange. There's a little bit of forest here we're probably having trouble with. There's some hills here, forest. No, the best place to push is here. Let's t kill this off and go for their capital. Um, is that good? Okay, that actually looks good, that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get our preparation bonus up again, then we'll push a second time. Still, they're still putting up a fight. I don't understand why they're not having a, a reduction in supply. They must have... They must have a bonus. Hmm, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, we're going to go for infantry offensive. Is that the right one to do? So we've got mechanized offense. 
I realize we're not using tanks, are we? Hmm. So maybe mechanized offense is going to be the way forward. No, no, we're going to commit to what we're doing. Infantry, and then also mobilize. My goodness, how many divisions are it? Three divisions. France has capitulated. Rip France. And, oh, France capitulates, and then they lose Paris. Okay. Okay, maintenance crews are complete, which we definitely need to add on for our motorized crews straight away. To be honest, I like adding motorized for everyone. I just love, I love maintenance crews. Yeah, yeah, we're going to stick with that. They are putting up such a big fight. Oh, our navy's engaged. Now, I'm not optimistic this is going to go well, but let's see how it goes. This is literally really, really old. Ships fighting really old ships. This is like a World War One ship battle. We're taking casualties, but I think we're we're winning mainly. What really confuses me is like this little black screen here shows the lost ships, like ships that are, for some bizarre reason they clear every now and then, so you don't actually see the total amount of lost ships for the battle, which I think is really strange. Armor effort. I think we're losing. Here we are. And it was not a defeat and it wasn't a victory. There is no sign that it was indecisive. We lost three destroyers and two submarines. They lost four destroyers and one convoy. Completely undecisive. But every single one of our ships has been almost destroyed. The, the strength on that is 2%. That is literally like a raft at sea. <laughs> Okay, you ready for the final assault? No, nope, they're not quite ready yet. I think we're just going to hold back a little bit. Okay, we have a research that we're not started. What are we going to go for? I think we want to research Great Tank, don't we? Yeah, Great Tank. We are going to push into tanks. Oh, we need the planes as well, don't we? I forgot about the planes. Okay, we might... We're going to up our production of motorized as well. Low on rubber again. Not a surprise. And he's going to go there. He's going to go there. Push in. We're going to win from every single angle. Denmark has capitulated. They're expanding to Scandinavia. Okay, they have probably taken a huge amount of casualties there. Yeah, they have 131,000. But we've took 168,000. Wow, where are we going wrong here? It does look like just having raw infantry seems to have better joy than what I'm... Wow, okay, this is... This is not going as well as I planned. Okay, so we're initially going to push in now. Actually, we'll let these groups gather up again. Uh, we'll add him on to this group. Motorized division. We'll let them gather up again, and then we'll we'll push in for another assault. Are we doing any issues with supplies? No, supplies are all really good. I think 
I think mountain divisions actually might use less supply. I think that's the reason why we're having a lot of joy with this. Yeah. Ooh, we've got a huge deficit on supply equipment. Okay, we need to fix that straight away. Okay, so this guy thinks it's going to be easy. There's one division still preparing, so we'll wait. I think we'll attack with all our other divisions first, soften them up. And give it a moment. Almost there, go. Okay, I'm fairly confident we can push through these lowlands pretty quick. Compute computing machine has been done. Okay, what we'd really like, I'd like to do now is start pushing into encryption. Preferably decryption. Mm, yeah, radio. No, we've already talked about radio. Radio's not going to help me, is it? Um, no, I'm better off in the encryption again. I really want to do radio. I really do. I think that extra 5% five re five reinforce rate is actually pretty good. Okay, decryption is needed. Okay, all pretty much wins from the south. Apart from here, though. El Salvador is putting up a fight. Oh, we had a first supply issue there. I think it might be this province here. Can we beeline to the capital? Can it be done? Armor efforts complete. Special forces. That's going to be pretty good because we can go for... Oh, no, it doesn't actually include Mountain 3. It's only Mountain 1 and 2. Oh, that's a shame. Secret weapons. We're going to use that because we need the rocket technology. Can we beeline to the capital? Oh, the speed! Okay, is there any other motorized divisions nearby? Where are they? There's one here. Okay, we need, a, we need another motorized. We need to push them from two angles. Where's the final motorized? It's here. Can we move him here in time? No, it's going to take ages. Oh. Trying to intercept us here. Infantry offense, and then this is the one we want, supply reduction. Fall of Cairo. Okay, can we make a push? Can we end this war? There's only one division there, but the defense is 242. That's huge. Okay, we're done. Field hospital complete. Maintenance crew two. Can we add the maintenance crew? We've already done that. Okay. The war is not over. Oh my goodness. They're at 95% capitulation. 95%. Okay, we're going to have to run across the coast. We might be able to take it. This city might actually end it. Yes, it did. Take all states, end turn. Done. The glory of the Argentine League. Glory, glory. Well, no time to rest, boys. We've got some conquering to do. Okay, loads of free military factories. Okay, so... How many free ones have we got? Another, Just one. Just one free one. Okay. Ha! Huh. What should we focus on? It feels it feels like we should be getting planes at this stage as well. Hmm. So at this stage, we did agree we were going to join the uh, the Germans. We're not going to do that just yet. We're going to wait for this national focus to end.
I feel like we took way too many casualties in that war. It didn't go nowhere near as smoothly as I would have liked. Yeah. And I'm really tempted as well to try and expand the divisions some more. So this is going to cost me... 277,000... No, 198,000 infantry. I am really tempted to do that. Because these divisions I've got so far just feel so squishy. They're not fighting as strongly as I would like. That's done. It is done. Okay, we have three civilian factories. Wow, I'm not seeing that in a while. Okay, so I think we'll go for a few civilians. And then more military. Yep. I think what we'll do is we'll group them all up into a field marshal. No, I'm not going to do that. I think we've got only three so far, haven't we? Three... Three motorized divisions. I think it's only three anyway. No, there's four. So there's two tucked away in here somewhere. There's one there. One, two, three... And the next one must have just spawned. Yeah, it has. Um, these guys join on there. Okay, we're just going to commit with our main force. Where is it going to be the most trickiest? Do you know what? We're going to take advantage of the lowlands of... Uh, oh, I don't know about that. Mm. No, it doesn't matter. We're just going to commit the whole front. Let's go. Half, half. No, 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 no. Half here. And then half again here. Yep. And then this one here. This one here. These guys, for the motorized, are going to commit to here. These guys are literally going to blitzkrieg. Okay, what I want to do as well is I want to add on my rocket artillery. So this will increase soft attack by 52. Damn. Hard attack by 1. Defense by 15. Breakthrough by 13. That's awesome. But maybe we had 2 on. Have we got enough of that? No, we need way more. Could do 1 though. No, we can't even do one. We need to start pumping out way more of these. Maybe we, maybe the divisions we've got right now are too big. Maybe that's the reason why. Maybe we should have smaller motorized divisions. Okay, that could be worthwhile. Okay, so the justification, 11%. So we're still going to have to sit on our hands for a while. So we're going to take on Colombia first. I feel that Colombia is going to be the strongest of all the three. Yeah. No, it's hard to say, really. It's going to be easy to take out. But, oh no, I should tell a lie. It's going to be easy to take out because literally all we're going to do is push us along the forest into the plains and take the capital and the mountains. Probably just as easy for uh, Ecuador as well, but Venezuela, oh my god, a nightmare. Through the forest, over a river, through the mountains, through the forest again, over a mountain. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a nightmare. Twelve divisions committed, no divisions committed. What? We 
We're producing two of these now. I feel like that's too much, you know. Because it's, it's costing me too much to make. How are we doing with supplies, though? We need more steel. Actually, we don't need that much steel. That's way too much steel. Because we don't need that extra steel to produce convoys, which we're not too fussed about anyway. How's our navy doing? Have they wiped out our navy? No, they've not. No, no. Oh, well, they managed to repair them up anyway. Okay. Did he gain any experience from that? I don't think he did, no. Okay. Wow, huge supply issues here. Okay, this is the first time I've actually had supply problems, which is interesting. So Amazonas is this one, and the next one is this one. We could improve this one as well, couldn't we? Okay, so we can uh, be super prepared and just get loads of supplies. So, to push them all the way from South America. I think this is what I did on my previous playthrough. I did end up having like a huge highway that ran all the way through South America and pushed into North America. Okay, as well, Secret Weapons is almost done, so we might be ready to take on... Uh, take on these areas so we can take some aluminium. Can we join the faction? Yes, we can. We stand together against the Axis. With the Axis, we will defeat the Allies. Secret weapons has been complete. Technology sharing. We need to be at war. Okay. And I've got a funny feeling that Germany is going to tell us to join now. Join the wars? Yes, let's join the wars. Okay, we're fighting with them now. Okay, these divisions are going to push in. Go for the coast. Go for the coast. Go for the coast. Those supply issues in the Amazon are starting to become a bit of a pain. They're going to affect our ability to do an invasion. Okay, we're going to have to split off a few divisions here. Um, just in the case that they try and do a landing. Which they are, so we need to pull off a few divisions. Maintenance crew, two, done. Um, I think we could go for recon as well. Uh, it's 1941. Is there anything we need? Yes, we need mechanized, don't we? Did we get the mechanized? Yeah, we did. Oh, it only reduces the time penalty. It doesn't actually reduce the cost. Wow, okay. I feel an idiot now, okay. All right, doesn't matter, we need the mechanized anyway. <coughs> One steel behind, but we're using that. We need that steel for the combo, so that's okay. It's taking a sweet time pushing in here. It's because of the bad supply lines we've got. What have we got here? This guy. This guy. This guy's gonna go into here. This guy goes here. Take the port there. Is that them all? Yep. I don't think they'll ship any troops here. I don't think so anyway. Okay, so we've got a few bit, bit more political power now. I don't think there's anything we really need. Air Force, Air Support, Night Operations Penalty. That's kind of useful. I like the Night Operations Penalty. Remover. Okay, there's nothing we really need right now. I think we can go for the fighter planes. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, why not? So 
So this is going to be a naval landing. This The AI does this quite a lot. You get a lot of these notifications about naval landings that don't actually happen. Okay, we have our full first French troops. Which I know they're not going to be able to put up a fight. No, I tell a lie. They are putting up a fight. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my god, the attrition is so bad. How are we doing right now? 30 of 13. It's going to take a while before we can make any kind of engagements. Okay, heavy tank is what we need. No. Are they retreating? Yeah, they are. They've gone. Okay. Done. So we just got to hope and pray right now that we can fix up this infrastructure before we declare war. So it's going to be until May till we complete this. So there's 12 divisions here. There's zero divisions here. And there's six. There's 24 here. 23 here. Now that actually should be all right. Okay, decryption, definitely required. Decryption again. Oh, wow, we could go for that as well. No, we don't want that. It's too, it's too ahead of time. It's a year in advance. Got another mobile, mobile division, which is this one. Um... We'll pull off another mountain division. I won't put him there. Supply issues in Amazons. Still an issue. It's because of these mobile divisions. They require quite a lot of supply. So, these, yes. These, yes. These, yes. And... This one, yes. And we might as well increase the port as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. Another naval landing, but yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, how, clo how close are we now towards justifying war? 80%. <sighs> okay. Some aluminium here as well. Never noticed that. It's in this province in the Amazon. So the big consequence of having low supply is that our troops don't get as much organization and plus they take more attrition as well. Technology sharing. Okay, finally. Finally, we have the ability to actually um, research at a normal rate. So, what's the final slot going to be? Now, we want rocket technology, because we can get the rocket improvements. Gives a 5% boost in soft attack. But, that's still two years ahead. And that's 1946. I didn't realize they were that far ahead. Okay, so it's 1941. May. Mechanized. There's nothing there we need. Ahead of time, penalty reduced by 50%. No, it just doesn't feel worthwhile. Okay, we've not got the factory output. That's really important. That I don't know why we've neglected that. We need to back out that now. And focus primarily on factories. And just a little tiny bit of extra production is going to go, go, go really far. We probably should back out as well and... Uh, Go for construction. No, 454 days is too long. Oh, 
What are these guys doing here? Naval combat? What's going on here? Oh, convoys! Okay, so they have resumed convoy duty. Interesting. I think they've intercepted some Australian convoys going to these islands. I am actually really tempted to take these islands, you know, as well. Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's grab one of these divisions. And do an amphibious landing. And we're going to make the, put them on escort duty here and here. Yes. How long will that take to plan seven days? Okay. We have justified our wars that we require. Let's do them one by one. So first of all, Ecuador. Yet again, I think Ecuador is going to be a breeze. Ecuador has joined the Allies. What a surprise. Go straight for the capital. And I think we can take the capital. I think they'll just surrender immediately. We've only got one division here as well. And the, the one division is putting up such a fight. 360 defense. They are putting a huge defense. Ah, that's not as smooth as I would like. Okay. Okay, do we go for more encryption now? We could reduce the time penalty, I forgot about that. Hmm. Do we sit on our hands here? Or do we try and jump ahead? Because that removes the time penalty by 100%, which is actually pretty good. I realize we've neglected anti tank as well, which is a shame. Maybe we should go for anti-tank pieces for medium tanks. Maybe that's the way forward. Hmm. I think we have to take advantage of this 100% reduction though, don't we? Yeah, let's do it. Yep, I think we've took the capital. No! Okay, maybe not. Okay, so now we can attack from three different angles. This will give us an extra attack bonus. Okay, so our available war goals are now Colombia, 27th of July, so we've got one whole month. And also Venezuela. It looks like they've got a lot of divisions. That's going to be such a pain. Okay, so we are going to attack their capital. They're distracting us from this right, left flank here. That's annoying. Oh, wow. They're putting up such a fight. We're going to have to encircle them. Okay. Attack Colombia. Okay, so the uh, divisions are ready to go. For some bizarre reason, they're positioned really weird. Their front is here, but yeah, they're, they're all here. That's really weird. Are they trying to start stay out of the Amazon? Oh, that's going to cause me issues. That's really strange. Why are they positioned there? Oh, no, AI, what are you doing to me? Oh, maybe... Oh, it's because this, oh, this province is really long, so they can push him from here. Okay, that makes sense. Why are they attacking us? Alright, go. Oh, 98%. Can we just beeline to their capital from here? That would be so good. Oh, no. The movement speed is slow because we're in the, the jungles. 
Okay, so it's almost July. We're going to have to attack Venezuela as well. Yep. No choice. Go. For some reason, the position on this front is really weak as well. I don't know why. Oh, he's doing his naval landing. I've I, I, I did this order without even realizing. Oh, we've got a Japanese division in our base. Oh, and we've actually taken the Falkland Islands. Well, if it was only that easy, eh? If it was only that easy, then the Falklands would have already been taken. No resistance whatsoever. How long will this take? Another seven days. Nuclear effort is complete. Okay, we just need to focus on aviation now. Is there any other islands around here? There is the uh, Galapagos Islands. There's also another little island there as well. The... Uh, Pecan Island. Okay, guys. It's been really tense this episode. We finally managed to clear up Brazil. Take a few uh, colonies in, from Europe in North Africa. Doing a little bit of island hopping as well, which I never thought we'd do as well. And then we're going to clear up the final three countries in South America. And then start pushing north. I feel fairly confident we can do this. I believe, guys. I believe. If you've enjoyed, guys, hit that like button. Also, subscribe. And also click on the little bell to be notified when I upload next. Have a good day, guys. Peace!